his job. Internally, what's the discussion amongst you guys when you know that happens in the third quarter? You go into the fourth, you got a little fire under you. I mean, what were you guys kind of talking about? Just be aggressive. I mean, uh, most of the time the aggressive team wins or get more calls. So you know, I just try to get in the paint, find people, uh, get my shot up. You know, just not walk the ball up. Just try to get the ball up under. We had 20 seconds up on the shot clock, so we can make a lot of movement. And so teams they actually break down. You know, the Bulls broke down in the fourth quarter when we did that. So that's all I was trying to do. Were you looking for opportunities there, scoring opportunities? Yeah, the whole time I was trying to get to the basket, get to the paint. And if the layup was there or the jump shot was there, I was taking it, but I was just trying to get to the paint and get other people open shots. It is that you guys kind of fall asleep and have to get in these giant holes. I just, you know, I think when we don't have ball movement, we take like contested threes or contested jump shots. That's when teams are able to run. We can't set our defense and they just come down and just get whatever they want. When you're sitting in there on the bench, it seems like you see it, and then you come in and you instantly change the tempo of the game. How do you get them to like realize it early, early, and pick it up? No, I'm not, I don't know. You gotta, I mean, they should know. We got, we got to play a little bit faster. I, I feel like we just, you know, by the time we get into our sets, like I've been saying, we've been saying all year, like 10 seconds left on the shot clock, then we want to get the shot that we want. It's only five seconds left, so we got, we already know what you got to do. We just got to do it. We were talking after the last game, you know, how inconsistent it's been in terms of kind of rising up for the good opponents, but then some of those lesser opponents may be overlooking. Does this kind of take away some of maybe some of that special? Dip? Yeah, because I mean, this is a big game. I mean, this this stretch right here is gonna make our season. I think we got eight or nine at home straight. You know, we can make up, you know, a little ground in the standings. We're only two and a half. We were two and a half games out before this, so I mean, uh, this is, I mean, this stretch is gonna make it break our season. If there were guys frustrated in this locker room tonight, what would be your message to them? Uh, stay focused, man. Come, go home, do what you need to do, get your head together. Uh, you got maintenance day tomorrow, so just get shots, get your body right, be ready for uh, the Boston Celtics. You guys have space in the prospect now, playing Boston without DeMarcus, without the six tonight. Yeah. Just considering all the injuries you guys already had, how do you go into a game against one of the hotter, hotter teams in the league? One of the hottest teams, yeah. Uh, just, you got to be aggressive. You got to come out. I know because he, he has a lot of production for us, rebounding and, and uh, scoring, but, you know, we got to, somebody got to pick it up. Everybody's been working hard, so they got to pick up the slack. What do you do to slow Isaiah? I don't know. He's hitting threes. He's hitting get to the basket. It's tough. Probably going to have to trap him or try to get the ball out of his hands and make somebody else beat us. Hi, I'm Leo Bias. Thanks for watching. It means a lot, guys. If you want the latest news in Sacramento, hit the subscribe button below. I'll be waiting.